Hello YouTube friends, I am back with another video. Um, at first my schedule was going to be pretty regular, upload a video every Tuesday, but my film schedule has kind of got a little screwed up, so it's kind of just going to be a video whenever, but I'm going to try to keep it like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday if I can. Um, just a couple things I wanted to address beforehand. Um, I have a couple packages that I'm going to send out to people, um, things that I've said that I'm going to send. Um, like I have a, a present for the Midwest Retro Gamers, um, who by the way, if you haven't checked out their channel, definitely check them out. I'll put their uh, link in the description below because I don't think I've given them a shout out yet. Um, I have a package for them. I have a package for um, Josh, JCAU. Um, I will get those out soon. I've just been a little bit tight with money right now and I've been really busy, um, but I definitely will get those packages out within the next couple weeks here. Um, I'm currently saving a lot of my money for um, something that is going to be happening pretty soon, which I will announce um, probably at the end of the week or in a couple of days. Um, another thing I wanted to talk about is I'm in the process of making a new icon, banner, and an intro for my videos, um, but I'm actually computer illiterate. <laughs> um, aside from making videos, I'm just not very good with electronics in general. So if anyone has any, um, you know, good tips or ways to make that stuff, um, let me know, um, just because I'm not very good at it. I actually made kind of a nice icon the other day um, in Microsoft Word, believe it or not, but I couldn't figure out how to save that picture onto my computer and then upload it to you. It was just a big mess. So um, if anyone, you know, has any good ideas for how to do that, um, let me know. Currently I'm working with Paint, Microsoft Word, and Windows Movie Maker. So those are about the only options I have. Um, but if, you know, if anyone has any good ideas or if you guys are good at making stuff, uh, definitely hit me up and uh, we can talk because I definitely want to try to make the channel look a little bit nicer and clean. All right, so we will get into the pickup video for this week. Um, I'm going to start off by showing a package that I received from Keith from the Robotnik Brothers. Uh, we actually did a trade, and um, the trade was for this game right here, which I've been looking for for a while, and it's um, Resident Evil 2 for the N64. Um, this one has been on my list for um, a good while now, and I just never came across it for a good price. Um, it's a little beat up. There's a couple um, nicks in the label right there, but, you know, nothing too earth-shattering, and then um, there's some writing on the back, which hopefully I'll be able to get that off. But, um, yeah, this will definitely um, work. So, very happy about that. Thank you very much. And then he threw in some extras. Um, we got Super Columns for the Game Gear, which I believe I already have this, uh, but I did not have a manual for it, so that was very nice. And then he also threw in Mech Assault for the original Xbox. Complete there. So, thank you very much for that package. Um, I appreciate it a lot. Um, the next lot of stuff is from our local exchange and I was actually really happy um, when I came across both of these items. Um, one I've actually been looking for a really long time and uh, the other one completes a little mini collection I have. Um, the first one I picked this up for five dollars which I thought was good because it was better than um, any price I would find on eBay because on eBay you know you have to pay for shipping and all that shit and I just you know for five bucks I thought it was a no-brainer and it's uh, Kid Icarus of Myths and Monsters for the original Game Boy. And um, this actually completes my Kid Icarus collection. So I have all the Kid Icarus games now. Um, I don't have this complete in box, obviously, and I don't have uh, the original Kid Icarus for the NES complete in box, which I would like to complete someday, but at least now I have all the games. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then the other one I was super happy to find because this is not a game that's um, particularly easy to come across, um, especially in the wild. And um, I've been looking for it for a while and it's actually still sealed or semi-sealed and it was $14.99 which I was pretty much willing to pay because I just wanted this game for a really long time and it's a uh, Hammer and Hero for the PSP and uh, it's an Atlas title as you guys can see right there and like I said it's not you know it's not a terribly expensive game but it's not super common either so if you're looking for um, a good PSP game definitely um, check this one out I'm, I've heard uh, a lot of good things about it I'm definitely looking forward to playing it um, and yeah I was just really happy so there's uh, it's factory sealed, but there's a tiny little, like, rip there, um, but, you know, for $15, I couldn't complain too much. Um, I'll probably unseal this soon, but for now, I'll just keep it in the wrap. All right, um, the next thing, I was really, really, really excited to get this. Um, I wanted to get this when it came out new, um, but I didn't, I don't really like buying new things. I kind of just like waiting for the price to drop a little bit, um, and I was actually surprised that they had this at GameStop um, used, because I didn't think anyone would turn it in. And um, I was very, very pleased to get it, and it's the Final Fantasy X and X2 remastered for the PlayStation 3. Um, it's in really good condition. The only problem was a slight 
nick in the box right there. There's a little nick, um, some bending, but other than that, it's in really good condition. Um, and then comes with the disc. Ooh, I don't know if you guys can see that with my terrible lighting. The disc, a nice little, uh, fancy art book here, and then, um, the mini manual slash product registration card thing. Um, so yeah, I was very excited to get this, and I believe, I want to say, when I bought this, I had, um, a discount. It was, like, I think it came out to be 32, um, for this, and then while I was there, I also picked this up because it was, like, $2.50, and it's a Star Wars Battlefront Renegade Squadron, which, actually, this isn't a bad game. I played it, um, a couple days ago, and I was having some fun with it, believe it or not. Um, so like I said, that was like two fifty or something like that. So I think I paid like 34 for that. I think this was originally supposed to be 34 um, but then I ended up getting both of them for $34 um, with a coupon I had and um, my Power Up Rewards card. So, very pleased with that. Um, also from GameStop, I think this was a different GameStop. Um, I went in, just kind of looking around, and I ended up coming out with two games. Um, this one was only like I believe it was like a dollar something, if cheaper, um, and it's Alone in the Dark for the Wii. Um, it's an Atari game, complete there. Um, so you know, just another game to add to the Wii collection, you know, I can't complain, especially for that price. I'm telling you guys, if you have not started collecting for the Wii, now is the time to do it. Um, there are tons and tons and tons of games at GameStop that you can get for like 89 cents. I mean, there's and there's a lot of really good games that are under ten dollars too. So definitely start collecting for the Wii if you haven't already. It's a great system, um, a great time to uh, go out there and start getting the games for them. And then I picked this one up. I believe this one was really cheap too. I don't quite remember what I paid for it, but whatever you know, GameStop.com says um, that's I'm sure what I paid. But it was very cheap, and I wanted it black label. And it's um, Uncharted Two Among Thieves. Love the Uncharted games. Love the Uncharted game for the Vita. If you guys have not played that one, definitely check it out. Definitely check out the Vita, too. That's a really fun system. Um, so I'm looking for one and three. My brother actually has three. Um, but I'm looking for one, uh, the black label version of it, because actually I can't really find the black label version. Um, it's been a little bit hard to track down. I can find the greatest hits, but um, for some reason the black label version of that game is uh, kind of difficult for me to track down. So hopefully I'll come across it soon. And the last two things were some rare Goodwill finds, since I almost never find anything at the thrift stores. Um, a new Goodwill actually opened up right where I work. Um, so it's really nice because right before I go to work and then when I come back from work, I can actually stop at this Goodwill. And so I was there one day, and I think I just happened to be there, uh, right place, right time. And um, they had a little selection of PlayStation 1 games. I looked there, didn't really see anything I liked, um, but I did see this, and it was $2, uh, Tiny Toon Adventures, Plucky's Big Adventure. And this was uh, the other Tiny Toon game I needed for the PS1. So that was $2. Oops. Um, happy about that one. And then as I was looking in the DVD section, I actually spotted this, which um, this game, it's, you know, usually when I find games at Goodwill, they're like dirt cheap games or sports games. Um, but this one is actually kind of, I don't, it's not, it's not rare, it's not uncommon, but it's a little bit, it's not super pricey, but I want to say it's like maybe around the 15 to $20 mark, if I'm not mistaken, and it's Jersey Devil for the PlayStation 1. I don't know anything about it, but I did know that it was, um, you know, at least worth more than $2, so I figured I would uh, pick it up, and then I found out that it was actually a pretty decent find. So if anyone's played this, let me know. Um, it looks pretty cool. I don't know if it's like a platformer or something like that. So yeah, let me know what you think about Jersey Devil if you've ever played it, but uh, discs were both pretty mid, and um, I was happy. This is like one of the best things I've ever actually found at a Goodwill, but um, as you can see, my trend of finding PlayStation stuff at the Goodwill has never, has never stopped. I will always and forever find PlayStation things when I go to thrift stores. So that is it for this week's pickup video. Um, I'm really glad you guys liked the live garage sailing stuff that I did last week, or the semi-live garage sailing stuff I did last week since it was me in the car. Um, but I got some good feedback from that, so I'm definitely going to try to do it again. Um, I haven't been able to go out garage sailing as much as I would want to. Um, I've been working a ton, and a lot of garage sales have just been starting on Thursdays around here, which is really weird, so that kind of messes up my whole game because if they start Thursday, everything's gone, usually within a matter of hours, at least video game-wise. Not always, but 
um, most of the time. So it's almost like by the time Saturday comes around, it's like pointless. But I'm going to try to hit up the flea markets too. Uh, maybe get some footage of that. And uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to try to put more of those videos out since um, I'm really glad you guys liked them. And thank you for watching this video. Um, like it if you liked the video. If you didn't like it, don't like the video, I guess. Um, <laughs> subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Uh, check out the Midwest Retro Gamers if you have not checked them out already. I will put their link in the description below somewhere down there. Um, and yeah, have a good week, guys, and I'll talk to you later.